welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen. And you know on this channel, if you've watched videos, this is all about giving you world-class technical skills to go and attack your technical problems, attack your frustrations, put them to bed and put them to bed for good. And as a step forward on that journey, I'm pleased to announce the latest reference book in our series. This is the Six Sigma Yellow Belt Handbook. If you're just starting out and you're just getting involved in solving your technical problems and removing your frustrations, this book is full of practical advice on how to use simple quality tools, how to run measurement system analysis, gauge R&R, in a practical way so that you understand what the results are telling you, you understand your process physics and you understand how to put your problems to bed for good. If you're starting out on the journey of Six Sigma, this is 180 pages of fantastic practical advice that you're going to find absolutely um, absolutely indispensable in your work. The link to lulu.com where you can buy this text is in the description below. Go and click on the link and buy your copy of the Six Sigma Yellow Belt Handbook now. Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video well, we're going to take a look at a case study that I've been sent by a colleague of mine who asked me some questions about a designed experiment that they looked at, which was done by Nissan a few years ago. So we're going to take a look at this case study. So it's the Nissan. I'm going to call it the logo. case study they are sticking a logo on the back of a car and they're doing a designed experiment to try and make sure that the design of the logo works well the design of the process isn't just the design of the logo the design of the process works so that the logo actually adheres to the back of the car so I was actually sent me this with a few questions what DOE was it and things like that, which I, I did answer. But let's have a look. My view of the DOE is that actually it was a wasted opportunity. It was a wasted opportunity to learn so much more and make so much more money uh, when you're going to do an experiment. The other thing I would say is I considered the analysis quite old-fashioned. Um, now I don't know how old this particular case study is so they might not have had software but when I say old-fashioned it's very Taguchi in nature. Now Taguchi tried to simplify analysis before we had laptops. Great techniques tried to drive design of experiments into engineering situations. Absolutely the right thing to do when you don't have a laptop. But now we do have a laptop whilst we want to take the best of Taguchi we want to leave behind old-fashioned ways of doing designed experiments and learn more for the same effort or learn more for less effort okay so let's take a look at this thing so we've got the uh, the case study here so as you can see we're applying the Nissan badge on the the back of a um, the back of a car uh, on the rear of this uh, estate car um, they've identified some variables. Now, on the list there, we actually have seven variables, 
but they decide to highlight the top four only as the variables that they're going to test. Now I have no idea whether they screened that seven down to four or they just used their engineering skill and selected four. But four is what they're going to choose. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the four variables because the bottom two, the thickness of the styrene and the thickness of the logo, thick and thin. Well, those two thicknesses they've identified thick versus thin. Now then, to make, you know, wasted opportunities, to make the DOE more intelligent, the last time I went to school, somebody had invented a measurement system. I think it's called millimeters. So instead of going thick versus thin, why didn't you say five millimeters versus 2.2 millimeters? Because if you do that, that makes the knowledge that you gain much more intelligent because you could you don't have to pick high and low then as a, a an optimized setting maybe you could pick something in the middle 4.5 4.2 something like that if you're trying to save money for example so the very fact that they used thick and thin for the the thickness of the foam and the the thickness of the styrene avoid stuff like that folks time temperature thickness weight you have a scale please use it so that's the first thing to say about this doe so okay let's have a, a another look and let's see what else they did okay now they've they've selected the top four i don't know why i don't know enough about this to know why they've selected the top four but there's the four that they've chosen and then they go on to use, it says, they're going to use a Taguchi L8. Okay, now then, let's talk about why Taguchi used the L8. So the next wasted opportunity for me is the L8. Why use the L8? Why did Taguchi use the L8? Well, what he used the L8 for was to save calculation time that's why he did it now for Taguchi what did that mean that meant three weeks <laughs> three weeks of hand of hand calculations that was well worth choosing the L8 for now, when you see me do an analysis with my software, I use DOE Pro. I think that's the best software around for design of experiments. Uh, what you will see is my computer struggle for about three seconds to do the analysis. I don't need this thing. This thing gives me a benefit that's no longer available to me. So that's why I say, this is an old fashioned thing to do. What would I have done? Well, I would have done, what did we have? Four factors. I'd have simply done a 16 run. Full factorial. Modeling. Modeling DOE. Um, what's that going to cost me? Well, it's 16 runs. They've done an L8, which is obviously only eight tests. Um, I'm going to do 16 tests. But looking at these tests, you've got to make some test pieces. I can't imagine they made one test piece of each type in terms of size and the type of glue and things like that. Um, so making 16 tests, 16 setups, not even difficult might take you an extra 
30 minutes to get the data. So we're not going to save three weeks. We are going to waste 30 minutes of, of extra time maybe to collect the extra data. But then I have a full modeling DOE. Okay, so, and by the way, I expect some of these variables to interact. So you've got the size of the logo, you've got the type of glue, you've got the pressure that you apply. You know, if you think logically about the physics in this DOE, there's interactions there. I don't want to miss those two-way interactions. I can't see the two-way interactions in this damn thing up here. So I'm losing knowledge. I'm not gaining anything. You know, th this is an old fashioned way of doing it because the benefit of doing it has gone with the, 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 the element of the laptop. Okay, so, so wasted opportunity, old fashioned way of doing it. Um, no benefit, could have done a different, could have done a different DOE. Um, then when they came to do the analysis, again, they used what I would consider to be a very simple Taguchi method. Again, why? Because they're trying to save hand calcs, but with a computer, we don't need that. So let's take a look at the analysis that they've done. So here's the data. They've only done one replicate per test, which is also an issue for me, and we'll cover that off in a second. Um, but they've done the analysis and it's just graphical. The factor effect plot, I would call these plots marginal means plots. Uh, there's a few names for them, but they've just used the graphs. And then what they've done is they said, we want glue strength to be the highest. So they've done a very simple thing and they just pick the top settings for each one. So that's their very simple analysis. Now look, that don't get me wrong, that works. It's a simple way of doing it. And if you wanna do it quick and you wanna save some knowledge and calculation time, I suppose, that, that's a way of doing it. But the point I would make is this, those variables cost money. What are they? It's the, it's the area. It's the, let me just see again, it's the type of glue. It's the, um, what was the other two? Uh, the, uh, the foam thickness. I think it was the logo thickness. Okay, so now think about these. Every single one of these has money attached to them. Wasted opportunity. What they've done is they've done the simplest possible analysis. But if you look back at the graph, three of the variables do very little. These three. Do very little. They do very little. But if you go to the settings maybe that they've chosen, the thickest logo, the thickest foam, and a particular type of glue, you're picking most cost. Why would you want to do that if these variables don't actually do anything? Now, had they spent a little bit of time not doing the old fashioned analysis with just graphs only, if they'd done the regression analysis and looked at the p-values, well, I've done that in my software, and look what I get when I look at the p-values. These three aren't statistically significant. What can I do? Instead of using these to optimize the glue strength, what am I going to do? I'm going to use them to minimize the cost. That's why I said it was a wasted opportunity because this DOE did very limited things. It generated very limited knowledge. Don't get me wrong, did it solve the problem? Yes, but doing a DOE isn't necessarily about solving your problem. What is it about? 
it's about process knowledge and the DOE I would have preferred to run the four factor 16 run full factorial modeling DOE with repeats by the way I would have repeated each test twice so yes I would have generated 32 data points instead of eight data points but looking at that DOE I don't think that would have taken too much effort at all and then what would we have done we would have optimized the glue strength minimized the cost and saved a bucket load of cash that's what we would have done so you know I mean don't get me wrong these these case studies that you know every day is a school day somebody sends you this thing what's it telling me what DOE did they use I use a certain types of DOE other people use different techniques that's okay it helps you when you analyze their technique against your technique it helps you to understand the limitations and the strengths of what you do and the limitations and strengths of what they did what they did was save calculation time but unfortunately with a laptop that's no longer a benefit so although it's a great study and thanks to Nissan for, for making that available to us it's quite an old study looking at the picture of the car it looks like a Nissan from about 20 years ago so it is an old study therefore it's a bit old-fashioned with software personally you would use different techniques today back in the day by the way would I have used the L8 yeah all day long I'm not criticizing the L8 at all it's just that the reason that we used it to save engineering calculation time is no longer a valid benefit or it's a tiny benefit and therefore the L8 is a DOE I would never ever touch its benefits have gone They're old fashioned let's use the modern ways of doing it let's think about what process knowledge we want from a DOE let's make sure we get all the knowledge in the minimum amount of effort remember in a DOE I am always going to drive you to generate 40 pieces of data and then the question is how do I get the most process knowledge from my 40 pieces of data design your DOE right get the right knowledge and make parts and parts of cash <laughs>